what up guys thank you for tuning in to um totally my internet and for this beauty video i'm showing you guys an everyday look um, that you can do but i also love it for back to school so stay tuned and i'll show you guys how i do it hey guys just showing you my wet n wild cover all foundation um, I like to just put it um, on the back of my hand and I'm going to show you guys here um, and I have my little blending sponge that I like to use to put on my foundation and I just go and put it all over just like it says it's cover all so I just put it all over just to even out my skin um, as you guys see I do have you know some darker spots and some lighter spots and I have a bunch of freckles. I love my freckles, so I don't necessarily like to hide them. Oops, got it all on my hairline. Oh my goodness. Um, but I just go through and I just blend it all over the place. And I just blend, 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 adding, you know, here and there, um, you know, for places that need a little bit more covering. And I just, you know, you do it like how you like to do it. I don't necessarily tell you guys how to do it a certain way just put on your foundation how you like to do it how you like to cover up or even if you like to contour you do whatever you want to do I don't necessarily contour so I just you know use it as a coverall like it says take off with a baby wipe um, sometimes I put a little bit more than I need because you never know if you gotta need a little bit more so just don't wipe that off y'all know I gotta have my cigar for my beastie beauty videos you know got my park avenue here such a nice smoke take a little break here and there I'm finishing right now as I'm talking to y'all and I have my Maybelline um, black um, I you know eye pencil in my little mirror I love this Maybelline New York X um, it's called expert wear and I absolutely love it I um, these are kind of like the only eyeliners that I will use for makeup because they last a long time it's easy to put on I even have a little tiny one left that I just don't want to get rid of it's a little piece tiny piece of pencil and it's just that good that I don't want to get rid of it and I usually buy it at Walgreens but you guys can't see me applying it here because um, you know my big old head is just a little bit too low and you guys can't see it so that's what all I'm doing here is just adding it and you add it to the darkness that you want um, and I like to put it on to, to the point where y'all know I got on some eyeliner. my L 
soothing lip balm here. I love it. I love it. It's like a chapstick, but it makes your lips feel super smooth. And I just like to put this on, and that way it gets nice and into my lips before I add, you know, lipstick and stuff. So I like to put it on, you know, at the beginning of my makeup look and stuff. So that's all I'm doing here. It's just, just putting it on, y'all. Then I have my Neutral Elf palette here. Um, and I absolutely love this palette. It has, um, you know, all the colors that I like to use in here. And I'm just grabbing out my brushes. Y'all know I gotta have my my um, blending brush and my eyeshadow brush. See here they go right here. Um, I use these two for my eye most of the time, and I also have my eyebrow eyelash brush mainly for eyebrows. Um, just I'm not one to sit there and put a lot of you know eye pe eyebrow pencils on it, so I like to just smooth out my natural. Um, eyebrow arch, you know, just make it look all pretty. So I'm gonna use my eyeshadow brush here, and I'm going to pick out this this nice light peach color um, that I'm going to actually place all over my eyelid. I'm gonna put it all over the. Um, eyelid, the the upper part of my eye, like I'm just going to put it everywhere. I like to put this light color all over the eyes because it's a perfect base for any other color that I add. And you guys see me blowing it off here. I like to blow it off so that way it doesn't look all gunked up on my eye. Wild Mega Length Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. Just showing y'all the name here, Mega Length. And I like how the brush is because it has really little bristles on it. And I go through and I apply about two coats um, to my upper and lower eyelashes. I don't know why I keep putting my big old head down so y'all can't see what I'm doing with my eye. But I'm looking down into a mirror. But I show you guys when it's all done. grab some baby wipes I am not one to use an eyelash curler so I just take a baby wipe and I use my fingers and I fold them mugs I just fold them you know I and also gets off the clumps because I hate clumpy looking eyelashes so I fold them with my finger um, and I usually can tell when it's done by how it feels on my finger and I do the same thing with my bottom lashes you guys can see my lashes are lengthy with this mascara I absolutely love it I do the same thing to the other eye I just fold it I don't know why I don't like using eyelash curlers you can use eyelash curler if you want to this is just a personal preference this is how I like to finish off my eyelash look want to grab, grab your blending brush and I'm going back to my elf palette here and I am going to choose a darker bronzy color I like this bronze color and I'm going to pick that one out and I'm going to put that color right on my eyelid y'all I love these natural tones there I go blowing my brush again y'all know I don't like the clumpiness and I just do it right on the dome and I don't do it to where it um where it looks you know super duper dark 
Um, I like the light look, the light natural look. So I'm just going in, you know, blender that in there. And this could be a personal preference. You guys can go a little bit darker if you like. I just like the, I love the light look. I don't like big fancy fancy makeup, y'all. I'm a really simple girl. And I go back with that light peach um, natural skin tone. And I just use my blender brush and I put more on the upper part of the eye. And I also blend it in the crease as well. won this in a giveaway and I absolutely love this color and I'll take it here for y'all and it gives me this really 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 bold lip and I don't even put a lot either and it's giving me a really bold lip I take a wipe and I do the little kiss on it to take it off some of it but I still have a lot y'all this this stuff be dark but it's absolutely gorgeous and it's glossy. And here is my NYC glitter eye pencil and it's in a light brown color and I just do, um, you know, like the, the lip lining y'all. I love this glitter eyeliner. I also won that in a, um, in a um, giveaway as well. But I have to go here and sharpen it y'all. It was super dull, you know. Give it to me to not sharpen it before I make the video, right? There it goes, freshly sharpened, and I'm going to go and line my lips. If you guys can see, it is a nice, nice brown color. Give it some shape to my big old lips. And I like the fact that it is glittery, so it puts a little bit of gl a glitter shine on my lips as well. 